BrainWise presents Grade 4, Science Quiz B, Part 4 Hold on to your lab coats, explorers! We're diving headfirst into a whirlwind of scientific wonders with 20 electrifying questions! Let the scientific games begin! Number 1. How does light travel? Again, how does light travel? The choices are A. In circles B. In zigzags C. In straight lines D. It doesn't travel The correct answer is C. In straight lines Number 2. What is refraction? Again, what is refraction? The choices are A. When light bounces off a surface B. When light bends as it passes through different materials C. When light is absorbed by a material D. When light creates a shadow The correct answer is B. When light bends as it passes through different materials. Number 3. Which of these is a natural light source? Again, which of these is a natural light source? The choices are A. A lamp B. A flashlight C. The sun D. A candle The correct answer is C. The sun. Number 4. What is a periscope used for? Again, what is a periscope used for? The choices are A. To see things that are far away. B. To see things that are very small. C. To see things that are behind obstacles. D. To see things that are underwater. The correct answer is C. To see things that are behind obstacles. Number 5. How can you make a shadow disappear? Again, how can you make a shadow disappear? The choices are A. By moving the object closer to the light source. B. By turning off the light source. C. By moving the object away from the light source. D. By making the object bigger. The correct answer is B. By turning off the light source. Number 6. What does a prism do? Again, what does a prism do? The choices are A. It combines colors to make white light. B. It separates white light into its different colors. C. It blocks light. D. It creates light. The correct answer is B. It separates white light into its different colors. You're a science superstar! You've made it this far! So keep going! Great discoveries await! Let's continue! Number 7. Why do we see objects as different colors? Again, why do we see objects as different colors? The choices are A. They emit different colored light. B. They absorb some colors and reflect others. C. They are all the same color, but our eyes see them differently. D. They change color depending on the light. The correct answer is B. They absorb some colors and reflect others. Number 8. How do colored filters work? Again, how do colored filters work? The choices are A. They block all light. B. They allow only certain colors of light to pass through. 
C. They change the color of the light. D. They create light. The correct answer is B. They allow only certain colors of light to pass through. Number 9. What is the study of light called? Again, what is the study of light called? The choices are A. Biology B. Chemistry C. Optics D. Physics The correct answer is C. Optics Number 10 How do polarized sunglasses reduce glare? Again, how do polarized sunglasses reduce glare? The choices are A. They make everything darker B. They block light coming from certain angles C. They change the color of the light D. They make everything blurry The correct answer is B. They block light coming from certain angles. Number 11. How does fiber optic cable transmit information using light? Again, how does fiber optic cable transmit information using light? The choices are A. By sending electrical signals through the cable. B. By reflecting light through the cable. C. By using mirrors to bounce light through the cable. D. By using smoke signals. The correct answer is B. By reflecting light through the cable. Number 12. How can you create a shadow that is larger than the object? Again, how can you create a shadow that is larger than the object? The choices are A. By moving the object closer to the light source. B. By moving the object farther from the light source. C. By making the object smaller. D. By using a bigger light source. The correct answer is B. By moving the object farther from the light source. Number 13. How does a sundial tell time using shadows? Again, how does a sundial tell time using shadows? The choices are A. By measuring the length of the shadow cast by a gnomon pointer. B. By counting the number of shadows. C. By looking at the color of the shadow. D. By using a clock hidden inside. The correct answer is A. By measuring the length of the shadow cast by a gnomon pointer. Number 14. Why do some objects appear to glow in the dark? Again, why do some objects appear to glow in the dark? The choices are A. They have their own light source. B. They absorb light and release it slowly over time phosphorescence. C. They reflect moonlight. D. They are painted with special paint. The correct answer is B. They absorb light and release it slowly over time phosphorescence. You are doing such a good job! The last few questions are coming up. Remember to breath and think. You can do it! Number 15. Why do stars twinkle? Again, why do stars twinkle? The choices are A. They are turning on and off. B. They are moving very fast. C. Light from stars is refracted by the Earth's atmosphere, causing the apparent change in brightness. D. They are playing hide and seek. The 
The correct answer is C. Light from stars is refracted by the Earth's atmosphere, causing the apparent change in brightness. Number 16. How does a light bulb produce light? Again, how does a light bulb produce light? The choices are A. By burning fuel B. By converting electrical energy into light C. By reflecting sunlight D. By using magic The correct answer is B. By converting electrical energy into light Number 17 why do some animals have better night vision than humans? Again, why do some animals have better night vision than humans? The choices are A. They have bigger eyes B. They have more light-sensitive cells in their eyes C. They sleep during the day D. They eat carrots The correct answer is B. They have more light-sensitive cells in their eyes. Number 18. How can we use light to communicate? Again, how can we use light to communicate? The choices are A. By shouting very loudly B. By using sign language C. By using Morse code with a flashlight D. By using telepathy The correct answer is C. By using Morse code with a flashlight. Number 19. Why can't you see a shadow in a dark room? Again, why can't you see a shadow in a dark room? The choices are A. There is no object to block the light. B. There is no light source. C. The shadow is too small. D. The shadow is hiding. The correct answer is B. There is no light source. Number 20. What happens to the size of a shadow when the object moves closer to the light source? Again, what happens to the size of a shadow when the object moves closer to the light source? The choices are A. It gets smaller. B. It gets bigger. C. It stays the same. D. It disappears. The correct answer is B. It gets bigger. You're a science rock star. You finished the quiz and showed how smart you are. Never stop asking questions and discovering new things. Great job. Smash the like button, share the quiz, and subscribe for the next one. Take care. Until next time. Awesome job. Drop your score in the comments and let us know how you did. Check out other videos from BrainWise.